This week on Your Town Tuesday, we are on the road to Royalton to learn how to make a city a Green Step City. Royalton Mayor Andrea Lauer explains the program. Green Step Cities is a voluntary program that's operated through the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency. There are 28 best practices. Lauer says the city has been a part of the Green Step Cities program since it started in 2010. The city has taken multiple steps so far as part of the program. First of all, we changed out the traffic light. By changing those from incandescent lights to LED lights, we reduced that one bill by half. The city also relamped all of the city buildings, saving an estimated 17% across the board in total electrical usage. We did a solar project where we put solar PV on the roof of City Hall. That saved us about $1,700 a year. Lauer says all of the steps Royalton has taken as part of the program have given great results. I really am tremendously proud of our city. If you think about it, uh, the whole idea of doing renewable energy or energy efficiency is a good thing for our community as a whole. While in Royalton, I found out there's something that you can do here that you can't do anywhere else in the state of Minnesota. It's not real often you find a whole, whole one together. Joyce Mester of the Royalton Museum is talking about Cross Rocks. The Blanchard Dam in Royalton is one of few places in the United States that you can find these rare rocks. We had the best luck there at the dam. There's also a little creek that runs into the river there. And uh, that's where we had the best luck finding little pieces. But where did these rocks come from? Mesta shared a few legends that were passed down through history. The other tale stems from the older legend concerning an ancient race of mountain fairies. The second tale Tell us of the fairies getting together at their favorite meeting place for dancing and gaiety, only to find out during one rendezvous some 2,000 years ago that the son of the great creator died upon a cross. So moved by the gloss of one so great in the spirit world, the fairies were crushed in heart and cried, and they wept. Their tears fell to the ground and were crystallized into fairy crosses. It is said that if you carry a cross rock on yourself, it will bring you good luck. Theodore Roosevelt and Mr. Lindbergh, Charles Lindbergh from Little Falls, they both carried cross rocks, and they thought they were good luck charms too. My last stop in Royalton takes me to the home of a 200-pound man-eating clam. Treasure City owner Robert Jansky says they have had the clam for 52 years, and it was taken out of the Atlantic Ocean. 200-pound man-eating clam, why do they call it that? And we tell them that... If that clam was down on the bottom of the ocean and you were down there uh, and you got your arm in it, once it closes, you can't lift that 200-pound uh, clam out of the ocean. Treasure City has a whole bunch of unique items that you can't find too many other places. Yeah, we have uh, six or eight inch great white sharks in a jar. And the list doesn't stop there. We have gator feet, uh, gator, gator claws, gator heads. So if you're looking for cross rocks or another unique item, Royalton is definitely your place. In Royalton for Your Town Tuesday, I'm Joshua Ackerman, WJON News.